Moving on to the next question on the test. Jacqueline threw a ball from one meter above the ground. The ball reached a maximum height of 46 meters at three seconds. Determine the equation that will model this situation and the domain and range. So to start this off, I'm going to actually draw a diagram of this situation. So we know we're going to be modeling the height in terms of the time. And we're told that Jacqueline threw a ball from one meter above the ground. So at a time of zero, she threw the ball from here. So this is one meter here, right? One meter high. And then she threw the ball up and it reached a maximum height of 46 meters at three seconds, right? And then the ball came down, hit the ground there. Right, so that is the diagram for this situation here. And they're asking you to find an equation that's gonna model this. So notice this is just a parabola here. Well, what are the coordinates of these two points that we labeled? Well, this coordinate here is zero and one. Right, that's the y-intercept. At a time of zero, the height, the dependent variable is one meter. And then this coordinate here is three and 46. At a time of three seconds, reaches a height of 46 meters. And these two points here are enough to make an equation because one of the points given is the vertex. So you could put this in vertex form. So we know the vertex form in general is a x minus h squared plus k, right? So if we relate this back to the scenario we're working with, we'll have h equals a t minus three squared plus 46, like that, right? Because the vertex is three and 46. So now we just have to solve for this a value. We could plug in that point for t and h and solve for the a value. So uh, the h value is one when the t value is zero. Like that, so we bring the 46 over. One minus 46 gives us negative 45. This will be a, zero minus three is negative three, negative three squared is nine. All right, so divide both sides by nine. So the a value is negative uh, five, All right? When you solve for the a value, it's gonna be negative five. So the answer is what? H equals negative five uh, T minus three squared plus 46. That is the equation that models this situation that models this uh, parabola over here, right? So we took the vertex, plugged it into the vertex form, then solved the a value with the y-intercept. Now they're asking for the domain and range. Uh, in fact, the range we already know, if you look at this, the range is from zero to 46, but the domain we don't know because we don't know when the ball hits the ground. We have to solve for this t value here the time at which the ball hits the ground, and then we know the domain is gonna be from zero to that time. So first thing we have to solve for is when the ball hits the ground, when the ball hits the ground, the height's gonna be zero. So we would plug in zero for h here in our equation that we have. And then we would solve for this t value. Now, multiple ways to solve for it. You could bring the 46 over, divide by negative five, square root both sides. What I'm actually gonna do is uh, expand everything. So if I FOIL t minus three squared out, I'd end up with t squared minus six t plus nine. This is gonna be plus 46. So distribute the negative five in, so I'll have negative five t squared plus 30 t Negative five times nine is negative 45 plus 46. That gives us positive one. And now we just have a quadratic equation to solve. And this is actually not gonna factor smoothly. 
So you're gonna have to throw this into the quadratic formula. So we know t is gonna equal negative b, so negative 30 plus or minus b squared, which is 30 squared minus four times the a value, negative five, times the c value, positive one, all over two times the a value of negative five. And when you do this, you're gonna get two answers. And when you do that calculation, you end up getting the two answers, 6.03 and negative 0.03. So the negative we could ignore. If you look at the parabola, this actually extends down to here. So they're saying the other intercept when h is zero is negative 0 0.03. But since we're working with time, we know time can't be negative, so we're just gonna ignore that portion. So the ball hits the ground, 6.03 seconds, right? And now we have enough information to get the domain and the range. So domain is gonna be what? Well, the domain is the independent variable, which is time. So time can be anything. However, time has to be in between uh, 0 and 6.03 seconds when the ball hits the ground. Okay, and then the range depends on the dependent variable, which is the height. Height can be anything, but height has to be in between 0 and 46 meters. That's it. Those are your three answers. That's the equation that models the situation, domain, and range. So when you get a question like this asking for an equation, always make a diagram first. Make a diagram, and then from there you can see how you can make an equation. Now, you're not always going to have to put in vertex form. Sometimes maybe they'll give you the two intercepts, right? So you'll have to put it into factored form. Then they'll give you another point. You'll have to solve for the A value. We've done tons of questions where they give you different types of things and you have to make an equation depending on what they give you. All right, so if you're not too comfortable getting this, I'd go back to the lecture videos, go through examples. I do multiple ones, again, given different data and getting equations. But for this specific question, vertex form, that's the equation, domain and range.